Hi everybody, in this video we'll take a look at using ProBuilder to create simplified collision geometry for your models in Unity. This is a great use and is one of the best ways to optimize your scene as well. So you can do this with free or advanced. I'm using advanced right now plus ProGrids, but either one will work just fine. You don't need ProGrids, I just like to be more precise. Open up the Shape Tool window or just hit Control K on your keyboard either way uh, to start creating the shape for your collision. And in this case, I can set just a few settings here. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to click on Build Cube and start working with this. So you can use the regular element editing up here and just start moving this around. Hold Shift to extrude, of course, and build up just a basic shape for your collision. Try to do this pretty quickly since it's really not that technical. Uh, don't forget, you got nice shortcut keys like Alt G to expand that selection pull that up so it matches. Uh, we're just being real real quick and lazy with this I guess you'd say. Uh, once it's ready hit C turns it into a collider. Uh, this is just a quick shortcut for a few things you could do yourself that applies this nifty see-through green material uh, and also tells ProBuilder to hide it when you hit play. So if I hit play you'll see that those disappear. Uh, probably should have moved my player camera around a little bit but you can see the colliders if I move back to the scene, are still active here. It's just that ProBuilder automatically turns off the mesh render, so a little less for you to do. And when I exit play mode, it pops right back in. Another handy feature with using that is with the ProBuilder panel swapped to text mode, you can use the entity types down here to instantly either hide or show things like colliders, triggers, detail objects, movers. Uh, a bit of a throwback to older engines, but it's useful if you use the text mode here. Uh, you can also click to set, of course. So let's go ahead and just quickly build up the colliders for the rest of this in case uh, you'd like to see that. Uh, here with this item, I can actually just mirror it. I'm going to swap back to icon mode because I prefer that. Click on the mirror button in object mode, and now I have a mirrored copy of this. And again, using ProGrids, I know that this is all snapping on real nice and exact. Uh, so you don't have to use that, but it keeps things a little cleaner, I think. Uh, let's just place that right about there. Um, go in and build the colliders. Let's start with this more complex uh, broken pillar here. So I'll just hit Control K this time to spawn in the cube. Hold V and snap it down to a edge here. And hit C, turn this to collider so I can see through it. Once it's turned to the collider type, it's still just a basic, uh, there's nothing new about it. You can keep editing it just the same as anything else. So I'll pull this up and maybe actually we'll get a little more complex with this one. So let's build the base here. Then I'm going to turn off the snapping so I can get a bit more complex. Hold, uh, hold shift while scaling to do an inset and then hold shift while moving to then pull that up. So if I set that back to a regular type, you can see this is the shape of it. So it's fitting around it a bit better. So there's our colliders. They're a lot more efficient than using the standard mesh colliders on these. Uh, and of course you can choose whether you want them to be concave as well. There's nothing special about this. It's just a regular mesh, but ProBuilder is doing a few shortcuts in the background for you. You can go through and turn on and off those mesh renders yourself, set whether it's a mesh collider or a box collider, turn on and off convex, any properties, etc. Um, really important I want to get across that there's nothing special about this other than that you can build it in the editor really nice and simple and use a couple quick shortcut keys. Um, but you're not, uh, not going to have any arbitrary limitations or yada yada. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know. Hope this uh, helps some people uh, make their levels a bit more efficient.